Hi, I'm Nancy Barang, and I'm the nutritionist here at Cancer Care Point. And today we're in for a treat. We're gonna make date nut truffles. This is what the finished product looks like. Beautiful presentation, super yummy treat. And in addition to satisfying your sweet tooth, it's giving you lots of nutrition. So you have a recipe, if you follow along in your recipe, the first thing we have is diced dried apricots. We have our organic apricots about a half a cup, no, about a quarter cup of these, and um, it's about eight apricots altogether. I chop the apricots up as fine as I can, and then what we do is cover them in water so that they'll get nice and soft. Apricots, such a wonderful sweet, uh, very high in iron, so it's blood building. Um, also high in vitamin A, the orange color that you notice, anything orange is kind of telling you, that I have carotenoids, carotenes, Vitamin A, really good for immune support. It also makes kind of like a yummy sweet. You just need something, something sweet to munch on. So we've got our apricots soaking, and then the dark chocolate. Man, this is kind of the best part of the whole experience. So the recipe calls for two ounces of dark chocolate, and you want to get one that has the highest cacao content as possible, at least 64%. Now I found this at Whole Foods, and this is 100% cacao. This is the real McCoy. It's a little bit bitter because of all those special alkaloids, but that's okay because we're going to mix it in with our apricots, we're going to mix it in with our dates, and it's going to be wonderful. Um, I do doubt, so what we do with our two ounce bar of cacao, of chocolate, 100% cacao, is we're actually going to chop this up as fine as we can. Um, if you don't want to chop it up, a little step saver would be to buy um, some raw cacao powder, and then you use about a quarter cup of raw cacao powder. Otherwise, you chop this up as fine as you can, and then you put two tablespoons of boiling water just to kind of soften it up. It says to whisk it, with uh, whisk in the, the water. If you don't have a whisk, no big deal. Just use a spoon to whisk it in, and then we've got our chocolate all mixed in, melted, and ready to go. What's the deal with our cacao? And notice cacao is different than cocoa. Cocoa has added sugar, and it's got additives. Cacao is the real McCoy. This is food of the gods, right? Super high in this blissful endorphins everybody knows that when you eat chocolate you feel good but you gotta be careful not to eat too much of the chocolate with the sugar um, in addition to these endorphins also high in relaxing magnesium and super high in flavonoids and antioxidants that have a major anti-cancer benefit and this you can get um like i said at whole foods if you can't get this and you just have a bar of chocolate that's 72 percent cacao you can go ahead and use that We'll have a little bit of sugar, get it unsweetened, um, or you could use the cacao powder. So we've got our yummy chocolate ready to go. Almonds are our next, our next ingredient. We have a third cup of almonds. Almonds is crunchy, wonderfulness, high in protein, omega-3 fatty acids that are anti-inflammatory, um, high in calcium, just wonderful. So we're getting a lot of nutrition by adding our almonds and let's see, then we have our pitted medjool dates. And the recipe says to pit it and then cut it in half. I actually find it's a little bit better if you chop it up finer than that. Chop it up as fine as you can, a little bit sticky, but it'll blend better in your food processor. What's the deal with dates? Dates, you know, the Arabs used to survive on dates when they were crossing the desert on their camels. Really wonderful healthy source of quick carbohydrate, an energy booster. You don't have to worry about the sugar because there's so much fiber in the dates that it actually balances out the sugar. In fact, I'll take one of my favorite afternoon snacks is to um, take, take a fig, just suck on it with, I mean, take a date and suck on it with a cup of tea. Sometimes I'll even put it in the freezer and because I suck on it slower when it's colder and it just kind of satisfies my sweet tooth in the afternoon. So dates are a real popular sweetener, an alternative to processed sugar. You can um, pit them and soak them and then put them in a food processor to make like a little paste. And that could be a really nice sweetener for all of your baked sweet treats. So again, what you're doing here is you're satisfying your sweet tooth 
but you're getting so much nutrition at the same time. And it's so satisfying. Let's see, what else do we got going on? Orange zest, now this is really fun. So if you've never zested before, treat yourself to getting what's called a microplaner. If you don't have a microplaner, no big deal. Just use a grater. And what you wanna do is zest, is to, is to peel off the thin layer of skin that's on an orange. And the recipe calls for one and a half teaspoons of orange zest. Um, I find that's about one, one medium size orange is about right. And if you use a planer, you'll notice that the zest is actually collecting in the inside of my planer, which makes it pretty easy. And you get this zest adds a wonderful bright citrus flavor. Um, also, the orange gives you lots of bioflavonoids, very light cancer healing power. Um, and it creates like an aromatherapy experience, right? The whole room just kind of mm, smells like orange zest. People walk into your home and go, oh, it feels really good in here. It's very, very uplifting. So I, I'm peeling my whole orange, I'm zesting it. It's smelling so good up here. And then I'm going to pour the zest into a bowl so that later on I can measure it. And then you're left with kind of a ball of orange. And that's okay because then you can eat the orange, which is wonderful as well. Mm, so I got my zest going on. Um, then an eighth a teaspoon of sea salt. It's going to just pull out the flavors. And then I'm going to add, um, after things are put into the food processor, um, we're left with a kind of a paste a yummy chocolate nut paste. And this has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours so it hardens. And I'm going to roll them up into balls. So I'll give you a little demo of that. We'll roll it up into a ball, put a little bit of coconut, and we will pick up about a tablespoon. So you can actually measure a tablespoon or you can kind of eyeball however big you want them. This recipe makes about 20, 20 little truffles. So I roll it in my hands, kind of like a little chocolate meatball. Makes your hands sticky, but um, so I'm gonna roll it, roll it into my coconut. And if you don't like coconut, no big deal. You could just skip the coconut. And there you go. So what's the deal with coconut? Coconut's a super saturated fat. It's very high in medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are a type of saturated fat that's not stored, it's actually burned for energy. So this is actually the fat that helps you lose fat, right? Very, very good for somebody who is maybe wanting to keep calories on and needing some extra energy. We'll put a little bit of coconut oil in a smoothie or we'll eat coconut meat. We'll have the coconut water. You can have everything from the coconut. It's a highly nutritive food. So now we've got um, to mix our things together, right? We've chopped up our, our chocolate and following our recipe, we've soaked the apricots. We've got our chopped chocolate. Now we're going to grind our almonds in our food processor. So we've measured out our almonds. Food processors are just so much fun. They make our life so much easier. Okay, so we put it on and we put it on a food <laughs> And make sure your almonds are all nicely chopped, which they are. And next we're going to add our dates. Right, so these are our dates, right? And they're chopped up. I find that if you chop your dates up um, more than just half, they'll mix in a bit better, right? They're just kind of gooey, which makes your truffle balls stick together. Okay, now we're going to add our zest, mm, our orange zest. And it says to, to add about one and a half teaspoons. I figure that's about one and a half teaspoons. There we go. And then we're going to add a little bit of sea salt, an eighth 
half a teaspoon of sea salt just to kind of brown things out. And then we're going to add our chocolate. This is going to be a little bit gooey. So we'll add our chocolate in there. Mmm, our cacao called food of the gods. You know that the Aztecs used to use cacao as a form of currency? We know how wonderful it is. A little bit goes a long way. And let's see, let's process this for about a minute. Hold on, it's gonna get real noisy again. and I'm going to drain the water out of the apricots. So I'm left with my wonderful apricots and I'm going to add that to my mix. Oh, actually what we're going to do is put it in a bowl. We're going to put it in a bowl and we kind of mix it a bowl. Let's see. We'll put it in... and that will let us mix in our apricots a lot better. All right, so we have our apricots that have been soaked and strained, and now what we want to do is just mix everybody in together. And it looks, look at how beautiful it looks. It looks really good. And everything gets real nice. It's okay to just put your hands in for this. Get everything mixed in. If there's any super big pieces, um, you can chop them up but it's okay to have some pieces of apricots. They're actually quite chewy, quite delicious. Our apricots, so good, our vitamin A. Then what we want to do is put this mix into the refrigerator. We cover it up and we're gonna put it into the refrigerator for a couple of hours just to let the flavors mingle and to, um, let it dry out a little bit so it will be easier easier to roll so i think i can fit it in this bowl yeah it feels real good actually you know you could cheat a little bit and probably form the balls right now but you'll have better luck if you if you let it dry in the refrigerator for a little bit so here we go we'll put that in here and kind of messy and chocolatey. Chocolatey yum. So this is gonna go in our refrigerator. And then fast forward, this has been in the refrigerator for a couple of hours. And here it is. And this is what we use to roll, to make our balls, roll it in coconut. And voila, this is your end result. And this is so satisfying. Just one of these is just so good with a cup of tea when you can just have one versus say a cookie, a processed sugar cookie. So good and so rich that it's satisfying with just one, knowing that in addition to satisfying your sweet tooth, you're actually nourishing all 70 trillion of your wonderful selves. <laughs>